Hey guys, welcome to part 7 of the Angular 2 tutorial series. In the last video we created a service called Post Service, which basically just fetched uh, a static array for us. We created a get post and an add post, which we just uh, pushed to it. All right, and we also created a uh, post component with just a form and an unordered list showing the posts. All right, so in most cases, when you have a service to get data, it's not going to be like this. You're not going to just have a static array right in the service. Um, it's pretty pointless. What you would do is fetch data from some kind of API or some kind of back end. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. And I'm also going to show you how to return an observable that can constantly be watched as opposed to just returning a, a static array. All right, so the, the API we're going to use is JSON placeholder. Uh, this is a really nice resource. It gives you all kinds of uh, data to work with. So you have posts, comments, albums, photos, to-dos, and users. So we're going to be using the posts. If I click on that, you'll see they have, I think it's 100 posts lined up with a user ID, an ID, a title, and a body. All right, so we're going to fetch data from here. So usually I would start clean with a, a, um, a default quick start like we've been doing but this is going to be pretty close to what we're doing so I just left it so this is the same code from the last video now in order to do this we're gonna to have to import a bunch of stuff alright because we're gonna be using a couple things we're gonna be using observables so we have to import those we're also gonna be using the HTTP providers we're gonna be using the uh, reactive extension reactive extension for JavaScript so we can use observables uh, and some other things. So let's go ahead and go to the top of the services file. And we're going to import HTTP underscore providers. And we actually also want to do HTTP. Okay, just like that. And that's going to be from Angular 2 slash HTTP. Now this isn't included by default in our HTML file so we're gonna have to go add that so you want to go to your root and then go to index HTML and what I usually do is copy this last script paste that in and then just change this angular 2 to HTTP alright and that'll bring that in for us save that close it up alright now what we need to do is import uh, the observable package observable and that's going to be from uh, rx slash no rxjs slash observable alright um, next thing we're gonna, we need reactive extensions so we're going to say import this time we don't need those little curly braces. It's going to be rxjs slash rx. Okay, we're also going to be using the map operator, which isn't included by default, so we need to bring that in. Okay, so this is going to be rxjs slash add slash operator slash map. All right, now we also want to create an interface for our post. Okay, so it's going to be kind of like a model where we define what a post includes. So let's go to our folder, our app folder, create a new file called post.ts. All right, and inside here we're going to say export interface post. And we need to figure out what it's going to have. All right, so uh, let's do title, which is a string, and body, which is a string, and also an ID. ID is going to be number. All right, and I'm going to actually put a question mark right here for ID so that we can actually fetch them without needing an ID. All right, and that's it. We can save it. Okay, we also have to include that file. So we're going to say import post from dot slash post. All right. 
So now we're ready to uh, change up the code here. Let's get rid of this whole this post array thing. And we'll clear that out, clear that out. All right, now we need a property. Let's create a property called URL. And what we want to do is set that to the JSON placeholder URL. All right, now to use the HTTP module, we have to inject it into the constructor. So we're going to say private underscore HTTP HTTP. All right, now in the get posts, we're going to be using an observable. So we're going to go right here and just say observable. And then in here we want to say post. All right, and that's going to come from the post file that we created. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say return this dot underscore HTTP dot get and let's put in this dot URL and then we want to use the map operator and this is going to return an observable for us so we're going to say map and then res res dot JSON okay we want to return JSON uh, yeah, and this is a function all right so that's it that should fetch it so let's save that and then we're going to go into the app component so app component TS and we also need to import a few things here we need the HTTP providers it's gonna be angular 2 slash HTTP and we're going to put that in with the providers. So right here. All right, and that should be all we need to do there. So now we need to go to our post component. And we're going to go down to the class. And actually, you know what, before we do that, we need to also include that interface post that we created. So we're going to say import post just like that. And then down here where we have this private posts, we're going to change this to post and you want to put some brackets in there. Oh, actually, no, I did that wrong. It needs to be post colon and then that. All right, now down here, this isn't going to work for us anymore because um, we're now dealing with an observable. So we're going to take that off and we're going to call this dot post service get posts. And then we need to subscribe to that observable. So we're going to say dot subscribe. And then in here we want posts. We're going to use an arrow function and point to a code block, which is just curly braces. And then we say this dot posts equals posts. OK, so we're dealing with asynchronous data here. So let's go ahead and save that and let's go back to our application. And now you can see we're fetching all these posts from our API. Now, one thing I should mention is that running this um, get posts inside the constructor isn't really a good idea. You want your constructor to be as light as possible with just some really basic initialization code. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to use a lifecycle method called on init. All right. Angular 2 has a whole mess of lifecycle methods that you that have hooks that you can hook into at certain points in your application. If you've ever used React JS, then uh, it's pretty similar to, to that to the React lifecycle. All right, now to use this, we need to import it. It's coming from Angular 2 Core, so we can just go right here, and then you need to uh, include each individual one. We're going to be using on init. 
So I'm going to just include that there. And then to use it, you want to go to your class here and then say implements on init. And then down here, we'll create a function called ng on init. All right, and then we're just going to grab that observable code and put that right in there. Save it. And that should still show up. There we go. All right. So that's just a, a more efficient way of doing it. Now, I'm not going to go into um, making a post request and adding posts because this API, it's not going to let us persist data to its database. Um, so I'm not going to get into that. I might revisit this later on, but uh, that's going to be it for now. And in the next video, I want to uh, talk about the Angular 2 router. All right, so I'll see you in the next part.